Well, this winter weather led to slick conditions causing accidents like this one here on Interstate 81 this morning. There was also a crash in Wasino where a driver hit a utility pole. We're told no one was seriously hurt. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is tracking the road conditions from our storm chaser tonight. So Shane, how are things looking right now? Hey, Lindsay, we are on uh, 81 northbound in Botetop County. We'll give you a look at what we're seeing. Things looking pretty good here on the major interstates, and that's really the story of what we've been seeing throughout the afternoon as we've been cruising around on 581 and 81 in and throughout the Roanoke Valley. But we do know that it has been a dangerous day for drivers. We're getting a latest update from Virginia State Police in the Salem Division. They have 37 disabled vehicles and they worked 52 traffic crashes today. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the clips that we shot earlier in and around the area. Again, 81 looking good. The crews were able to get in here, plow this area, get the ice up off the road. I'm told that this is still a salt event, so they were still able to use salt to put down and gain some traction. But again, in and throughout the city, we were seeing clear roads, people taking their time, giving the plow trucks lots of space, which is exactly what we want to see. We also took a moment to catch up with uh, Jason Bond, who's the spokes person for VDOT. Listen to what he has to say now about what his crews are going to be doing for the rest of the evening. We will be continuing to plow and treat roads overnight. Uh, refreeze, of course, could create some additional icing conditions uh, on even roads that we, we pay or that we plow tonight. So we will be continuing to work in 12 hour shifts and you know we are continuing to respond to the storm. And of course, as the sun, well, uh, behind the clouds goes down and the temperature starts to drop again, that's when, again, you don't want to get that false sense of confidence. Jason Bond telling us about want to make sure that people make sure they're still taking it slow. Don't be too overexcited driving on what you think may be a clean road because there could be some black ice back out with us live. Now, again, as you see light traffic out here on 80, 81 northbound here in Botetourt County, a lot of it just truck traffic as we're going through. So again, we'll be out here for the rest of the evening, keeping an eye on things and we'll bring you the updates as we get them for live live in Botetourt County. Shane Dwyer, 10 News working for you. Thank you, Shane. Our live team coverage of the winter weather continues tonight in Pulaski County. That's where 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett joins us live. Lindsay, in the newsroom, we're hearing that roads have been icy. There's a lot of power outages. What are you seeing out there? Driving around the main roads today, it did seem okay, but it was the back roads that you had to watch out for. They were an icy, slushy mess, just like this road here. This is Mountain View Drive in Dublin. You can still see the remnants of the storm, and this is a lot better than what it was earlier in the day. We want to give you a look at those conditions. Uh, this is what it was like on the side streets in the area. Ice and snow collecting on the roads, making for slick conditions. All that ice weighing down branches and taking down power lines, cutting out power to about 25 500 people just in Pulaski. We tagged along as Appalachian power crews assess the damage before they can start repairs. They have to gauge what's wrong, whether branches are on power lines or there are open fuses. That way they know what equipment and crews to send in. They know people are anxious to get the power back on, but by assessing the damage first, crews that are already spread thin won't get worn out. It would have been worse this morning, but it quit raining. It was it was to that point where it was getting ready to get real bad, but it's got it's got it now where we can handle it. It's just so widespread. Just take a look at this ice on this branch. This is what it's been like here in the New River Valley. Tonight at 6, I'll tell you about how neighbors came together to clear a tree that was blocking a road because of that heavy ice weighing it down. Reporting live in Dublin, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Many people in Southside were left in the dark for days after the winter weather last weekend, but this time the outages weren't nearly as bad. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther joins us now live from Danville. So McKinley, there were some outages, but they were quickly restored. Yeah, Lindsay, there are some lingering outages tonight, but I want you to check this out. You can see Verizon crew members are here trying to restore any service that may have been lost when this wire, this wire came down earlier today. That ice and that rain already on exhausted infrastructure created this problem. This is along Westover Drive at Fox Hollow again here in Danville. It came down around noon today. You can see that tree uprooted on the other side of those crew members right there. People were inside their homes working and they say it's Sounded like rolling thunder when that tree came crashing down. In fact, they were afraid this tree was coming down on their home. Before I came out, I looked out and I saw the saw the wire, the black wire there. So I knew then I said something happened. 
So I come out, my, my daughter and myself, and there it was. And oh. then I went to the garage, you know, the driveway there and moved my car, my Jeep. You worried that those lines may come yeah. down? Yeah. Here's now video of Danville Utilities restoring service in the Tunstall High School area this morning. About 1,200 people in areas like Memorial Drive, Lanier Avenue, Park Avenue, Bishop Road were in the dark. The good news tonight, though, is that their service has been restored. You ask anyone, whether it's customers or people who just live here, or you ask officials, and they'll say they're happy that what they saw this weekend, where many people were in the dark for 12 plus hours or some even days, did not repeat itself today. Live in Danville, I'm McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you. The winter weather has also caused problems in central Virginia. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is live in Alta Vista this evening. So, Tim, what have the conditions been like there today? Well, Lindsay, the roads have been uh, wet and they are slick. Uh, we've seen crews out all day treating the roadways and fixing power lines. Now, take a look at this video. Uh, this was about an hour ago along uh, US 29 South. Uh, as we were driving down from Lynchburg, you can see utility crews replacing poles and wires, blocking traffic with a state police escort as they head to their next call. We've also seen dangling wires and came across a fleet of utility crews in this parking lot uh, getting ready to head back out on the road. Road. Now coming up at 530, uh, I'll show you how the roads have been here in central Virginia. Uh, live in Alta Vista, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.